Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install quick frames for Figma and how to use it so you can start building your own user flows and sitemaps. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Figma app and then you can drag and drop the Figma file um, into drafts. It's going to take a few seconds to import the file and what, once that is completed you can click done and double click on the file to open it up. Okay, now that you have your file open, um, the first thing you will see is how to instructions. So you can read it through after the video and see step by step how to create um, new sections, how to use arrows, add uh, some comments to your flows and create sitemaps. Here on the left sidebar, um, you have other pages that are included in this file. So now let's go to samples. In samples, you can find some sample flows and website plans I created for you. So you can use them as a, as a template. You can copy some elements from here. Um, you can uh, use this for inspiration. You can see how quick frames can be used for email automations and some more um, advanced flows that where you can plan and design user experience. Okay, our next page is components. Here we can find all individual elements we use in quick frames like sections, icons, um, boxes, labels and arrows. So if you want to customize quick frames and change the fonts, change the look of your flows, it would be best idea to come to this page and all of, make all of your customizations to those master elements, master components here in Figma. And all of these changes will be automatically applied to all of your flows. The next page is Design Kit Demo. This is my another product for Figma and I included a little demo here so you can see my other product and how it works. So I'd like to encourage you to come here if you had never tried um, Design Kit and see how it works. And I included one simple page so you can see, uh, you can use your arrows, move the sections, um, you can change the content and see how everything is flexible, how everything automatically adjusts to your content. So you can come here, you can play around and if you're interested, go to a click, you can click on this link here or go to my website rafaltomal.com slash design kit and get a copy of design kit for Figma as well. All right, now let's move to the last page, start here page. And this is the page where you can start all of your, all of your flows, all of your sitemaps. So what you can see here is some sample templates. Um, you can find a simple navigation. Um, you can find some static templates for your little page uh, mockups, wireframes, and you can see some samples how the flows work. Uh, so you, you can use those uh, as your starting point by selecting them and this, this is your empty page template and now you can, by holding option, you can duplicate it and move it here. And this is basically how I start every new page plan that I'm um, doing in quick frames. Now I moved uh, one of those little page markups here in my plan, um, I can start editing. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see better. These are the little sections uh, inside the page. So by holding command, I can select uh, the text one of these section, double click, and now I can change uh, the content. So let's see, let's say this is going to be my hero section. This is going to be my about section. Uh, this is going to be blog and final CTA. The other two sections, by holding command and shift, I can select both of them. And now I press delete to remove them. So this is my little now page wireframes I created. Now, if you want to move some of those sections uh, up and down and change the order, you can, again, holding command and select, instead of selecting the text, you can select uh, this whole uh, section box, click on it, 
and now using arrows on your keyboard you can move the section just by pressing up and down as you can see blog is going up and down you can even move it um, after the footer and as you can see this annotation text moves along with the with the section so those two things uh, stick together if you need to add another section to the page all you have to do is to click on a section and you can press command d and duplicate it so now you can duplicate as many sections as you need as you can see this page automatically resizes to the number of sections you have now each section by default is this little gray box uh, without any wireframe inside but you can click on any section and you can change the style from default to let's say um, this is a form it has a little form wireframe in here you can send change to grid uh, title so now this, this whole section uh, has a different style if you want to move it you can still select this section use your arrows to move around the page you can also add new sections by going to assets in the left hand sidebar and from here you can uh, find sections when you click on an arrow um, now you can see all the sections that are available in the quick frames so this is the default one with just a gray background but you can choose any section just drag it and drop it into the page and it automatically fits into the page and uh, the page resizes and now we want to change the colors of those sections let's say i want to highlight my final call to action so you can click on a section and here from the right hand sidebar you can change the color by click on the light gray and you can change it to let's say light orange and for those sections i recommend using only those light colors so you can still see the text uh, the black text on it if you want to change um, the color of the entire frame the best idea would be to grab one of those pre-designed templates here from this uh, from this page so i can click on the page green by holding option i can duplicate it and move it here and now you can use it uh, as another page i can move the arrow resize it to point to another page okay now let me show you more a little bit more how arrows work so um, by resizing arrows you can also change it, change its direction so if you wanted to point this section to the left you can duplicate the arrow and just resize it uh, this way so now the arrow points to the left and you can point it any, uh, any place on the page you want to add new arrows um, the same um, you can use the same method like with sections you can go to assets on the left side and go under arrows and now you can pick any arrow from here drag it drop it on the page and now you have another uh, element you can also use dashed style that that was added to quick frames 2.0 and from the dash style it's the same uh, method you just drag it drop it on the page and point it wherever you want also every arrow in quick frames has an icon attached to to it and you can find it by when you when you hover on an arrow you can see this uh, hidden rectangle here this is a hidden component and by default all the arrows are hidden when you click on it you can actually change here from the uh, right right hand sidebar the style of the component and you can choose a pop-up for example icon so now this arrow indicates that this page is a pop-up and you can move it uh, when you resize it or remove it the icon uh, sticks with the arrow and you can also find all the icons that are attached to arrows by clicking on the arrow layer and you can go to layers open up this folder and now you can see icons uh, components inside so I'm, gonna, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see better so I'm going to select the first icon this could be my confirmation so I'm going to change to yes and my second icon could be uh, the error message it could be no okay and now let me show you how to edit the sitemap so this is your sitemap here at the top when you click on it um, you can see in this layers uh, 
on the left hand sidebar, all these items are in the auto layout uh, folder. So you can click on any of them and using your arrows, you can change the order so you can quickly move the page where it should be. Um, you want to edit the content, you can hold command, click on a text, double click on it. Now you can change, uh, uh, change the page title. And as you type in, you can see um, no matter how long the page is, everything else automatically uh, adjusts to its size. Now, if you want to add a sub page to this page, for example, um, you can select the sub page uh, from the sample, hold option to duplicate it and move it to another menu item. You can also, um, in the same way how you um, change the order of the main menu items, you can change the order of the sub items by selecting one of these items and clicking at, using your arrows, um, you can change the order. You can also move this sub page to another drop down just by dragging and dropping in a different place. The last thing you might want to do in your sitemap is to change the colors. So to change the color, you can select any of these items. Um, let's say you want to change uh, the color, this orange color to white. You can select them, this um, nav item and change uh, its background to white. If you want to change just the, just the sub pages, uh, you can select, you can even multiple, uh, select multiple elements here and change all the background color to let's say green or uh, purple. You can also change uh, the color of the text and the air, the border around it by changing the black color. And you want to have it red, you can change it to red. So it's, it's all that simple. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to show you is how to use some of those labels in boxes. So you can find them all in assets uh, here under box, you have all different kinds of boxes. So if you want to have an email, you can just drag it and drop here. If you want to um, have a tag, you can use it, uh, you can use it as well. Um, if you want to change the type of the box, you can select it and here from the right hand sidebar, change the type of the components. So you can change it to email sequence, for example, or link. Uh, the same. Um, the labels work the same way. So this is a default label. You can want to place that on an arrow. Uh, if this is an email, you, wanna, you can place it as well. Uh, and changing the labels, the type of labels works in the same way, uh, like with boxes, you can just select it and then choose from the right hand sidebar to a different type of label. All right, I think that's all you need to know about building uh, flows and sitemaps in, in quick frames. Um, go ahead and check the samples so you can see how some of those are built and so you can also reuse some of those elements in your own sitemaps.